Hey, I want to make you guys a... This is actually going to be a quick video, okay? I said that a few times and it ended up not being very quick. Uh, I wanted to show you what's going on with price right now. Um, so I had this on Litecoin. I'll cover Litecoin, Ethereum, and uh, Bitcoin, and it'll all be pretty fast. It's, I think everything besides... Yeah, uh, Litecoin and Bitcoin uh, are following the same type of thing, and it's kind of important to know um, when you get fake reversals, uh, kind of like a bull trap type of deal. And this, this is the most likelihood situation. So, um, so look up here at these uh, different time frames, right? Monthly, weekly, daily, four. Um, so the higher you get, obviously, the more powerful it gets. Um, however, one, um, one type of indicator that works almost every time uh, throughout the whole history of Bitcoin is um, on the four hour when the uh, it's a death cross so when either a 50 simple crosses below the 200 simple or the 50 or 55 EMA crosses below the 200 EMA. And uh, very similar to how I've explained in other videos, when price is above a certain point, when two lines are going to cross, for example, if price has been bearish for years and the weekly 21 is getting ready to come above the 200, price likes to go into both of them and fake people out and get people scared to sell. And then it takes off like a rocket because it's very good to have the 21 cross above, um, you know, some longer time frame if things have been bullish for uh, or bearish for a long time, right? So um, indicators that cross, really important things that cross and touch, it seems to suck price into it regardless of the direction up or down. So um, so I've given mostly examples of price being sucked down into things coming out of a bear market. But right now, the most likely situation which is happening is it's a bull trap. Um, and uh, the reason this happens is because a lot of uh, people with more money than us, um, they have bots trading their stuff. And what happens uh, is that the environment, there's a, um, you know, there's an entire landscape uh, or kind of like a black market, you know, a black market can develop in, you know, Venezuela um, for buying toilet paper and stuff, right? So it's its own little ecosystem of sorts. And they, the, the smart bots try to trick the dumb bots, essentially. I mean, that's literally what this is. Um, and uh, if you and if you guys want to get really technical in the trading, I just cover basic stuff. But if you want to get super technical stuff, the best crypto trader out there is Crown Crypto Cave. And I learned this from him. So I'm going to give credit where it's due. I, I didn't figure this out by myself. Um, and uh, and he's covered this for years. It happens all the time. And most of his viewers already know what's going on here as long as you've, uh, people have followed him for a long time. So look here. Um, so the way I graph things is uh, blue is the 55 EMA and this orangey red thick line is the 200 um, and the blue is getting ready to cross it and it's sucking price into it and then it's most likely going to drop have there been like double fake outs where it goes up and down and then boom absolutely i mean everything's happened besides going left you know it can go straight up straight down uh straight right but the only thing that can't happen is left or up and left down and left you can't go this way um so anyway but left uh however it's it happens almost every time, and it's extremely likely. I mean, even more so than any patterns like a ascending or descending triangle or a pennant or a or a head and shoulders, which is the most worthless <laughs> pattern. <laughs> if you hear traders talking about head and shoulders, you should just move on and next to that. Swipe what I don't use. I've never used Tinder. I've been married too long, but swipe whatever way is bad uh, to get rid of those people. Um, uh, uh, anyway, so you can see here on Litecoin, price got sucked right into it. They're, they're getting it ready to touch. Can it bust right through it? Absolutely, anything's possible. The absolute most likely scenario though is it hits it, maybe even goes above it, fakes, fakes the bots out. It, so the smart bots are trying to fake out the bad bots so they take a bad position and then the smart bots, you know, screw them over, <laughs> essentially. And also smart bots are gonna screw over a lot of people who think, oh, Bitcoin's going back up, going back up, you know? And all those YouTubers who are, looking to get clicks, unfortunately, they're like, oh, Bitcoin's going up. They try to get people excited, but it's a disservice to them. You're making people lose money. Don't do that. 
<laughs> I don't know why so many YouTubers do that kind of stuff. Um, gosh. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so this, it's, it's probably just going to drop back down. And uh, to the, the points to where, you know, I've already covered this in multiple videos, the most likely areas it's going to fall down to um, is the weekly 21. Or it could just come back down to the weekly 10. Um, and if you want to, and so there are three ways to do it. Go back, back and forth between the weekly and daily and just look for a couple things. Either the moving averages or is there a lot of resistance support in the candle bodies, not the wicks. So this is a whisker a wick, the bodies. So is there a lot of action here? Eh, I mean, sort of kind of around here. So, I mean... And, and it looks like this price came down to check sort of kind of this. So uh, for LTC 150, it might stop there. Um, however, look at all this. Resistance, support, 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 and what else is around there? The 21. So my guess is that it'll get on the four hour, it'll get sucked into it, perhaps go above, maybe even as high as 200. Um, and then it's... And then it's going to come, it might not come all the way down to here, uh, but I would guess it'll hit 130 and it's going to, so by the time it happens, the 21 might be at 137 and it might only wick below on even a four hour. It might only go down on a 15 minute chart. Uh, and so a two hour chart won't even have candle bodies closing below this, uh, below the 137 mark maybe at that time. So just keep the same slope, maybe guess a week or two. Uh, it, you know, and it might just go boom down here to make people happy and then giving them confidence to buy. And if it hits this level, you know, the reason why it pings off of it is because more sellers become buyers. That's the only reason price goes up is more sellers become buyers. That's it. That's it. Uh, and people hit market buy. <laughs> um, so, uh, so that is my guess. So I, I personally, you know, I'm setting orders around the 130 mark. Um, try to snag some Litecoin because I like to send it across exchanges. So Bitcoin's doing the exact same thing here. So this is the weekly. Um, and again, we have all sorts of candle bodies here. All sorts. Um, so, you know, the likelihood of Bitcoin coming out of 32 is okay. Um, yeah, it could, it might hit 32, 33, but I think there's so much, uh, prior resistance here. I think this resistance, as I've covered in other videos, previous resistance, you oftentimes becomes pretty heavy support. And I think price is going to come down and tag this line at 38, five. I think that's what's going to happen. And price, and so like I was guessing mid-March, late March, I think price might just go nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow, and then tag it and bounce. So so people don't have much time to buy it. Uh, or it'll crash down below it like by $5,000 and then it's just, just skyrocket above in a matter of you know, hours. Be thousands, like $8,000 up. You know, eight thousand dollars up, eight or down, eight thousand dollars up in a matter of hours. This is the type of moment where this kind of crap happens. Um, a lot of volatility can happen real fast, uh, and so you know, this is a pretty key level here. Uh, I might just want to put this in um, here. Ooh. And we'll make. I typically make the lines I want to delete later white. Um, so. And this this vertical line here was just the new year. Um, so, and this was the point I I called. I made the call that it'll be above twenty four thousand, and actually passed it. Like I think before the end of the new year, it got up to thirty like five or thirty two. Um, I actually was sh uh, short. Uh, I was low, and I called that back in October when it was ten thousand six hundred. And I said this is definitely going to go over twenty four thousand. Um, and so this was a, a more impressive run than what happened last time, uh, last bull run when it came out of uh, when it when it when it crushed through. Its previous high, it actually went above. Um, so, so Bitcoin's, you know, it, its run could be better than the last run, um, which is not. I wouldn't have expected that to happen, but this is just simply impressive, people. <laughs> but since it was so impressive, that simply increases the chance of Bitcoin coming back down to the twenty-one. So the harder it skyrockets, the harder it comes back down to make, you know, to make people who took profits up here at the one trillion cap, it'll turn them back into buyers around. Like the, this twenty-one on the weekly turns sellers into buyers all the time. Um, it's huge, and in bear markets, 
um, something I wanted to show in my last video. I told you this green line was roughly where the a weekly 200 was. I think, and so this is the simple, the thin one's the simple. Look how perfectly it hit that. Check this out. Look at that. Almost to the dollar. Almost to the dollar. Let's see how close it went. 32.15, 31.87—that's pretty darn close. <laughs> uh, Thirty-ish bucks. So uh, that—I mean, these 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 big lines on the weekly are that important. Uh, and so, um, really, I think perhaps you know, uh, the stuff sucked down so violently because of this, you know, of this, uh, these lines converging. And just like I said earlier, this four hour death cross is sucking price up into it before it comes back down. I think this is roughly why, um, the bots said, Hey, look at these, they're getting ready to cross. Let's crash price into it. Cause we're going to screw people over and we're going to take these short positions and make money off of it. Uh, and that's just kind of self, that's like a, a lot of price action and trading is self-fulfilling prophecies. Um, so, you know, what I just explained there on the two, uh, weekly 200 simple during the capitulation, um, that was very aggressive. <laughs> it was crazy to watch. Um, a lot of YouTubers who cover uh, crypto, like they started doing other stuff for a minute. Like, hey, we're going to take our mind off crypto while we're losing all of our money because <laughs> we didn't sell <laughs> because we know it's going to go up in a matter of a couple years um yeah so uh anyway uh i had one guy i used to watch pretty heavily he uh, started playing piano and covered stuff like uh um nootropics <laughs> like the type of medicines that i don't know like saint john's ward or whatever does to your mind but anyway uh, that's what people were doing during these red candles over here <laughs> It was very, er, uh, these ones right here, uh, YouTubers. But anyway, uh, but a lot of YouTubers were saying this is an amazing time to buy, and they were right. So uh, anyway, uh, this is a very important price uh, uh, level to watch. This is important. But currently, you know, just, just micro scale, um, the four-hour charts where the money is. And look, look, so uh, even different than Litecoin, this is already past it. And so the likelihood of it coming back down is pretty high now uh, and the, the rest of the market. Uh, so F, uh, real fast, because I don't think F, I think F might be parting ways from Bitcoin price action. I, I just can't wait for the day till things don't follow Bitcoin price. It's just so silly. Um, but uh, that's not silly. I guess the, the trading pairs make it happen. Um, let's see here. It already checked prior high. I don't know what that is doing. Um, oh, I think I, I mentioned this last time. I think the Stokes have to come down to whatever level around 50. Yeah, so price is probably going to be choppy here, kind of like Bitcoins. But I honestly don't think it's going to come down to this low. Um, it could, though. Um, let's see here. It might wait. It might kind of stagger. And as it lets Stokes come down here, because it need, it really needs to hit 55. I mean, trader, uh, buy, uh, sellers will not become buyers until that happens, and the bots won't either. Uh, and a lot of money tra trade on bots. So I imagine if, let's say, two more weeks, it could be the 22nd of March that week, um, it, it, it hangs out, hangs out, hangs out, and it waits until this uh, 21 is about... It might be April, guys. This could be April. Um, or it'll just flash crash into it once. Gosh, it might be April. Um, shoot. But anyway, I would say around the 22nd of March or 1st of April, first week of April. So one of the last two weeks in March or the first week of April, price could come down to 1250 That would be my guess um, as this four-hour plays out. And I don't think there's a four-hour death cross. Well, lo and behold, there is. They all have it. No crap. So, and so since everything follows Bitcoin, you can tell how much the bots are controlling stuff, guys. Do you think it's a coincidence Litecoin, Bitcoin, and Ethereum all have the same darn lines at the same point? No. It's because 
so much volume is traded in bots. Um, and they, they are bots programmed by humans, and those humans are trying to make smarter bots than other people with less money than them and le or less tech, uh, and they're trying to trick their bots. But this is not a coincidence, people. And it's not market manip manipulation. It's just um, there are a lot of if-thens, and a lot of the if-thens, there are only so many options to choose from, and the bots are trading high volume, and that's just what's ha happening. Um, so typically, when you do macro movements, the four-hour is as low as you can go. Nothing else, you know, really holds water, but and, and really not much on the four hour holds water macro um, or even medium term, but this death cross. So other crosses like this, uh, they don't hold a lot of water. Although if you played stuff like when price shoots down, a good time to get back is when uh, the, the 21 is kind of getting close and becomes uh, uh, starts leveling off. Um, and so buying when price is about right here, uh, th those are off because look, I mean, just look at the yellow versus the blue. It just happens all the time. And I think this is Ethereum, but I mean, just look how common it is. Boom. It just plays bing. It's just like a bouncy ball. You can play that a lot. Um, but anyway, so that's what's happening in the market right now. It's bots versus uh, dumb bots versus smart bots versus medium smart bots. IQ of 100 bots. Uh, it's just a bunch of bots in their own little ecosystem doing stuff. Because people cannot make this happen, folks. It, this is not possible. And uh, I've been in this for you know since 2017. This happens all the time. Like. like all the big coins, you know, obviously Cardano's following their own stuff, but, um, which I'm happy for Cardano holders, although they're going to get wrecked. But anyway, uh, this is what's happening. So, you know, if you're thinking about buying back in, I mean, really, if you want to wait till for a safe time to buy back in, like, like confirmation safe, right? So when you are confirmation safe, that means you miss out on a lot, you know, on a, on a solid amount, you know, 10% sometimes, but you're also safe. So when price goes above 52.5, it's going to break out, um, and it's going to break out hard. Uh, this is, and this is when... Um, so this will be passed when a lot of uh, sellers have become buyers, but this is when people, the waiters, the people who got flat, they have stable coins. That point is when they will add their money to market buys and the price, it might stutter step and it might ping off once. Sometimes it takes two and three tries, uh, but once it really breaks it, it's, it's going to fly. Um, this is going to fly. Uh, so I would not feel safe, you know, if I'm, I'm holding a lot of USD or stable coin right now, um, getting flat, which, you know, in this type of environment, being flat is really good, unless you're in small alts, like, uh, well, small alts are going down 30 and 40% too. So being flat is a pretty safe way right now. Um, and, um, but, uh, you know, if, if you want a good entry that's safe or relatively safe, uh, 52.5 or 52, yeah, 52.5 ish. And once it breaks and closes, let's say a four hour candle, so not until a four hour, not a wick, you know, not, not one of, you know, one of these deals like this, uh, but a full body close like this, a strong candle above it. Um, above this 57 mark, that would be a that would be a pretty confirmed time to buy. And just one more quick recap. Um, let me look at this. The the blue. Uh, this is Bitcoin. Uh, hmm. How much? How far away is that? Uh, that's three thousand dollars difference. So the market might be following ETH more because ETHs was a lot closer. And sometimes the market does flip between uh, following Bitcoin and following ETH. I think the market's following ETH right now. Um, so because this is a lot of difference here and uh, Bitcoins might not ever cross. It might just uh, uh, sellers might become buyers once ETHs makes trade trading bots happy. And then it might take off and Bitcoins might, you know, Bitcoin might just come down to this 39 level without these ever crossing. Um, that can that can be you know uh, I think F is taking charge right now so uh, because it's kind of stealing the show at the moment um, but anyway that's what's happening in the market right now so um, I would keep holding your horses and uh, sorry I brought my work phone hold your horse. Uh, I am personally holding my horses, and uh, that's what I see in the market, so stay safe out there. Uh, don't lose all your money. <laughs> don't put more money into crypto that, that you can willingly be afford to piss away, because uh, it could all disappear pretty quickly. Um, but also, you know, you can 100 and 200 and 300 exit. This is the this is such an, this is like a two, two uh, times in a lifetime type of opportunity. Uh, so, you know, th this is a fantastic time to be in crypto, and I'm glad you all are here, and we'll see you next time. Crypto crackheads. <laughs>